What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today I have for y'all my most carried knives for the month of July. The knives I couldn't put down, keep out of my pockets. Before we dive in, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. Let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. I love hearing from you. Or tell me what the knife or knives you carried the most through the month of July is. So we're going to kick this video off with the Asher Knives Spiro Warncliffe here. This has silver twill carbon fiber. I don't know if some of these knives will be in stock, won't be out of stock. Um, it really can fluctuate depending on the knife. And this is one of them. We have a stone washed s90v i don't know if we'll be able to pull it up s90v stone washed worn cliff style blade i don't know if you can make that out there and then we have silver twill carbon fiber some beautiful stuff along with a geared silver twill backspacer we have a deep carry wire pocket clip that's going to be reversible we have a chamfer and jimping on the liner making it extremely easy and comfortable to disengage incredibly snappy detent phenomenal closing action great ergos great blade shape for edc and work related tasks great finish for that as well uh asher knives is a huge huge hit to me make some of making some of the best knives the best value knives in the market they are definitely in the top tier when it comes to the best value and that's a good thing uh, in my opinion, in my categories, being best value is a really, really good thing. It's not a knock on the company. He's providing extremely good materials and build and finishing work uh, on top of a really good price tag. You, you typically find his knives between 80 and 120, which is incredible. Uh, love Asher Knives. So believe it or not, this is a knife that I carried a ton uh, over the last month or so. It, it's not something I typically carry, but uh, I got to tell you, this thing is slicey as all hell. It is comfortable as all hell. If you have XL, like larger hands, XL even larger, this knife is just so comfortable it is ridiculous the kaiser huntsman you do you do have you do you do have that crazy trailing point tanto just crazy ass recurved blade shape um it, it's crazy but i'll tell you what it had it's got such a good edge on it it's great at slicing longer slices I've used it a bunch to get into various packages. I've used it to break down some various cardboard and various packaging. Uh, just a phenomenal knife. S35, satin finish. We have some carbon fiber for the inlay material. We have a protruding geared titanium backspacer. And no, that does not cause any discomfort. It's actually... Like I said, extremely comfortable. The pocket clip is a thick slab of titanium that's milled going with the flow of the design. Great access to that lock bar with a nice chamfer on that guy. Uh, love this knife. It's crazy as all hell. Incredibly good action, great materials, and the price tag is fantastic as well. You can use this cutout with the holes or the studs love this knife the huntsman is crazy and it's crazy good so i wanted to start incorporating some other gear just quickly um throughout the videos on the monthly updates maybe the flashlight i carried the most or used the most uh and this month it's definitely going to be the edc 27 uhi i've been using its brother the edc 25 uh before that for quite a while i'm a huge fan of nightcore products I realized not long ago that they offer more than just flashlights. If you're looking for a good battery backup, like a five or 10,000, or maybe even a little bit bigger, they offer some phenomenal battery backups, nice and slim, 
you could easily carry it around in like your front pocket and barely notice it's there. I wish I had it here. I think it's charging in the bedroom, but uh, this flashlight is phenomenal. The EDC 25 is phenomenal. The battery backup I've been using from them is <laughs> equally really good. This screen will let you know where you're at, what mode you're in, how many lumens you're using, and how long it'll last on that given mode. Uh, phenomenal. Love their technology, their flashlights. Just a, a fantastic flashlight company putting out some really good products, innovative products. I really like what Nightcore's doing, not only with flashlights, but like I said, their battery backups, they have solar panels there, a bunch of different stuff. Uh, highly recommend taking a look at their product line. And if you see something you like, I wouldn't hesitate because they seem to be extremely solid. So we have a nice mixture actually, or pretty close of affordable knives, middle of the road, and maybe a little bit more expensive than that. But uh, this is the Tenable Prometheus here, and I really like what Concept's doing with this Tenable line. Tenable is Concept, if you're not familiar. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why the add-on with the name. Uh, it could have been just Concept's Tenable line, right? But it is what it is. Uh, we're still getting Concept's build quality, just with a different name. We're getting a stonewashed 14C modified sheep's foot style of blade here. We have some blue denim micarta. They have a couple different variations. Some people didn't like the green pivot collar. Eh, I don't mind it. Not a huge deal. This knife is like 50 bucks or so, 60 bucks. It's great, a great size. It has great materials. It's comfortable. Love the blade shape. It comes with a milled tie clip. If Tenable keeps this up, they are going to move into my favorite budget line in the game. So this next one, I know some people will love the aesthetic of and some people won't. Uh, I love this thing because it's crazy. And that's the same reason why some people won't like it. But I like knives that are different. Uh, in one way or another, whether it's aesthetics or the design itself uh, or both or the locking mechanism, stuff that's just different, right? But stuff that's still useful and still utilitarian. Does it always have to be that way, i.e. the Huntsman? No, not an ultra useful blade shape, but can it still cut and get the job done? Yeah, it definitely can. Uh, and this definitely can. M390 stone washed sheep's foot blade and you got a nice amount of blade there uh, Just just a great blade shape and I love how it just maintains Just a slight curve out to that tip and like I said plenty of blade length there to do Pretty much anything you could need to do with a folding knife We have this fuller here with these thumb discs and then you have a front top flipper there as well with some really heavy duty jimping there and then this is a button lock style knife plunge lock style and it has an incredibly stout detent on it uh titanium blue washed handles backspacer and pocket clip it's recessed under there so it clears the seam easier and sits in the pocket easier Crazy milling here on the backspacer, all kinds of different speed holes and milling on the show side here on the blade. Just really crazy looking. I have a full unboxing of all this stuff uh, and some have detailed overviews. Definitely an unboxing out on this, but uh, if you want a closer look or more, more specs, whatever. Uh, but this is a crazy knife and I really have enjoyed it the last month or month and a half. Uh, it's right up my alley in size. It's got an extremely stout uh, opening method. I don't know how they, they did that, but uh, it's extremely stout. Anyone who has one of these will back me up on that unless I just got really lucky. But uh, this thing has a fantastic opening action. It's extremely comfortable and it's extremely different. So believe it or not, um, well, no reason not to believe it. This is a knife that I, I've carried a lot over the last few months. Um, 
I have the original XO with no lock, no clip. I carry it in a clip slip. Uh, and I used to mess with that a lot, but then summer hit and or warmer weather hit and I just quit wanting to throw it in my pocket. So it didn't get carried as much, but recently they came out with these full size XOs with the lock and clip and I ended up snagging one L Max. We have a two tone finish Tanto blade, a couple different blade shapes and different inlay materials you can get. I went with the titanium. They had my Carta as well, but I went with this uh, anodized titanium, I guess you will, high heat industrial type look. And then it's got a titanium clip and it will be reversible titanium lock here or switch and then it's got that same great action gravity knives or these gravity knives tend to have and i love this knife because of the ergos everything is closed in nothing's getting in your way feels extremely comfortable in hand plenty of room to move around all over the place get a ton of reach if you need it or get really close up if you need more control you can get up on that tip because nothing's in your way. And finally, it has a nice skinny profile and a very slim profile in the width department. It just, for such a long, larger knife, it carries and handles extremely well. Love the Ria XO, especially the new one with the lock and clip. It's a game changer. Next up, this one shouldn't really be a surprise. I've carried this a ton. I literally busted my middle finger nail uh, flicking this so much, which has never happened to me ever, uh, which that's insane. That's how much I've flicked this knife open. The Liang Ma Cuff 3.5 literally destroyed my middle finger nail to the point where I could not middle finger flick anything with my nail at least. Uh, unless I wanted to destroy the entire nail. Uh, so that's crazy. But Magna Cut, Satin Finish, Sheep's Foot Blade, nice cutout for deployment. Love this knife. Snappy, detent, great glossy closing action. Uh, ergos are phenomenal. The blade is down over your hand or below your hand. So it's going to be great for getting into things, draw type cuts, food prep, Hence the cuff, uh, just very ergonomic and comfortable. It's got his monolithic uh, frame here where it's two pieces, but basically looks like it's an integral one solid piece, but it's actually two. You can see the line there, but it's going to give you basically all the benefits of ergonomics, aesthetic, uh, and even rigidity, but save you a lot of money because it's not an integral. We have a milled tie clip with a little ball bearing there on the end. Great in and out of the pocket. It's a nice, short, slim clip. You do have a little bit poking out there, but I actually enjoy it to get it out of the pocket easier. And then a nice chamfer on the lock bar. The Liang Ma Cuff 3.5 is a huge hit in my opinion. Next up, this is, I have to say, I've come to the conclusion so far I told Ben if he did a sheep's foot or worn cliff, this size, this length, thickness, all that, that would be my favorite knife of his and there wouldn't be anything that would most likely replace it. Uh, but this is the largest knife that Jack Wolf Knives has put out. I love clip points. Are they the most utilitarian thing when it comes to day-to-day -day EDC stuff? Eh, no, but... Here again, just like the Huntsman, will it cut? Can it cut? Can it do the job? It can. It definitely can. Uh, we have a hollow ground S90V clip point blade with a beautiful belt satin that runs into uh, like a wash look. Then we have the deep acid washed titanium bolsters here. Fat carbon fiber for our secondary handle material, anodized blue titanium backspacer, matching milled clip here, and these are bolster locks, so you have no fear of, you know, getting in the way or getting on top of that lock. Great action on this thing. Snappy as all hell. Closing action is ridiculous for such a 
thinner, lighter weight blade, but it's ridiculous. And you can thumb, reverse flick, do all the front flipper things your little heart desires. Really comfortable. Uh, packing a nice amount of blade in this handle here in this, this size, it literally fits me perfectly. So that is why this has become my favorite knife from him, period. If he does a sheep's foot or worn cliff though, it's definitely all over. Next up, we have the new Kaiser release, the Bulldog here. And <clears throat> I've been raving about this thing um, for the last week or two. It is awesome. They will be either out by the time you're seeing this, or if they're not out yet, they will be out very soon. So uh, if you go over there and it says out of stock, it's probably because they aren't there yet. But I will not be surprised if these go out of stock uh, fairly quickly um, because this is going to be a huge hit. We have a satin finished sheep's foot blade uh, coming in 154 cm and it's a great blade shape. You're well above the bottom of that edge, similar to the Liang Ma, uh, similar to the Asher, just great ergos it's going to be great for edc work finer work work that you need control over it's got a nice row of primary jimping a secondary row here for where for when you need that precision if you do we have some very nice micarta here for the handle material deep carry clip that's recessed and it will be reversible sporting their clutch lock which is the best in the business and it can be customized lighter or heavier for your personal preference on the opening there and how strong or light you would like it but this as an affordable offering is one of my favorite budget knives from kaiser in quite a long time they need to do a premium version of this, and I'm not the only one saying that, but if they did a titanium handle in, uh, I don't know, S35 even, uh, what Kaiser's been using a lot, anything that they've been using really, uh, LMAX would be beautiful, LMAX and titanium, oh, could you imagine? That would be amazing. This is going to be a huge hit. If you pick one of these up, you'll be extremely happy. And the next knife we have up here, this was a tough call between this one and the mini PSYOP because uh, I carried them both quite a bit. This is the full-size PSYOP coming in that beautiful LMAX steel drop point with a black washed finish. We have the cutout there and the front flipper for deployment. Nice and snappy on that action. Nice choil there to choke up behind that blade. Get a lot of control over it and use that to get up on the tip there for more precise cuts. We have contoured titanium handles here. They do have flat milled titanium handles. I opted for the contoured ones, of course. Extremely comfortable. We have a milled tie clip that goes with the flow of the knife. Only going to be righty on this one. Sporting their top liner lock or the compression lock, if you will. Uh, phenomenal. Extremely comfortable knife. Well done. Great material choices and a lock to back that all up. And then the pen that I carried the most would be this new Bastion uh, carbon fiber and steel full action pen. Uh, these are very affordable. They have ones made out of titanium and zirconium and all kinds of stuff. So they have some very expensive ones too. Uh, I have some of their titanium stuff, aluminum stuff, and now their steel and carbon fiber. This has got some weight to it. So it's perfect here at the desk. It's not necessarily something I carried a ton, but it's something I used a ton throughout the month. Uh, here at my little desk. So that is definitely up there and one of the most used pens of the entire month. You guys will have to let me know. What do you think of the list? What did you carry the most throughout the month? And do you like the fact that 
we throw in some other goodies as quickly as possible like the pen and the flashlight i'll start to incorporate that a little bit more often just wanted to try it for this one let me know what you think don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out always appreciate that if you're new here we release edc and knife content every single day hit that subscribe button ring the little bell i'd love to have you here i'll put up a couple of new videos good awesome day thanks again for watching i will catch you on the next one